the Exhale Joy. You can actually catch the Speedway on here, the racetrack that they have on board, and then I believe they have the video game arcade room up on here too as well. Um, yeah, this is 17th floor, pretty dope. want a dangerous one I don't have the balls to do this <laughs> but basically you you stand they shoot you down and this part actually hovers over the ship This is actually the front of the ship and uh, we're sailing forward and then they have nice little couches like this it's a very elegant vibe there's a starbucks behind us and actually a full-fledged bar over there it's definitely decently sized very beautiful very peaceful if you are prone to uh, motion sickness, I would recommend uh, not spending a lot of time here because I actually wear a patch specifically for motion sickness. And while I don't necessarily have nausea, I do feel like m I do feel like a heaviness in my head, which um, isn't too bad because I'm sitting here for a good 10 minutes or so, so I can tolerate it. But I don't know if I can do my work here because I definitely do feel it more. So I would recommend. Um, if you do have motion sickness, stick to the middle of the ship. Um, it's definitely more balanced over there than it is in the front of the ship. Norwegian joy, let's go! Cheers! Cheers, everybody! Cheers! The cruise that we are currently on
you have the big uh, water slide right here to the left. And then you have the other pool over here to the right. And then in this area, they have like events, they have live, live performances, DJs and stuff like that. This is like the main outdoor area. Several games. We played basketball. We played the ski wall. Play this. He's beat me in everything. Besides, uh, you're lucky. I'm tired. I'm gonna ask for a rematch. I'm exhausted. I did my cardio for the day. I'm ready to go. Eat. So tomorrow, our plan is to actually rent a scooter, go to the beach. Apparently this beach has pink sands. I don't care which beach we go to, what color the sand is. I just want to swim in this beautiful, beautiful crystal blue water. Um, and then we're going to be going to some restaurants. Um, I looked it up, it has really good reviews. And uh, my goal is just to try some, you know, Bermuda staple foods or just try how they season their food and just you know, really immense myself in the Bermuda culture. I mean, as much as I can for the day that I have. Um, they'll still be very touristy, of course, but it is what it is. It's my first time here in Bermuda and um, I love it, even from the ship, even from the port. <laughs> chilly but you get used to it wow we were told that there's gonna be a lot of people here but to be honest this is not crowded at all and this sand is absolutely amazing so there they say this is supposed to be like pink sand I do see it you know if you really take off um, like your sunglasses and you start looking at sand, you do see it. It kind of reminds me of like pink Himalayan salt, but it's not as pink as I thought it would be. So very natural pink, but yes, very, very soft, very, very clean. Absolutely beautiful. So we are in downtown Bermuda and this church looks beautiful. We're actually going to be stopping by the marketplace. Doesn't get more touristy than this. <laughs> Only. Go ahead. Only KFC on the island. Yeah, that looks so nice. Absolutely beautiful. We're like on a little pier. There's restaurants over here and the whole city over there. Abraham over here. <laughs> Your boy right here. We got people on the rooftop right here. Yeah. Downtown Bermuda. Put on these 
patches right as we left. Yeah. Let me show them. Link link will be in the in the description below <laughs> where you guys can get them. But um, these patches are actually pretty clutch. I got one on as well. It lasts for three days, so um, and you can still drink, you can still do whatever you want.